And welcome back. Now the last time South Dakota State played at Fort Wayne, it didn't go so well. They got outscored by about uh, 20 points. So tonight the Jacks were ready for some payback. And this is also a very important game in the Summit League standings. Mike Dom from the outside closing in on 3,000 career points. Uh, he can also score on the inside. Look out below. And the other guy, John Conchar, he's pretty good too. Second best player in the entire conference. Great move there, Conchar for three, and the Mastodons lead 53-49 at halftime. Looks like a repeat of the last game, and then uh, on this slam dunk by Matt Holba, the lead's eight. But David Jenkins, who's been red hot of late from way outside, shot that one from Volga. Uh, that made it 67-65. Uh, the Jacks finally take the lead. There's Dom for three of his 38 points, 20 rebounds. Moves into 10th place, passes Oscar Robertson tonight, and the Jacks go on to win a wild one and an important one for them, 92-83. They're now 12-2 in conference play. 2,981 points for Mike Dom, and he's not done. Tonight was also a revenge game for the 23rd-ranked USD women. As they hosted Denver, they lost to Denver out in the Rocky Mountains earlier. Got off to a great start. Maddie McKeever with three. Then it's going to be Kira Duffy, who was our Athlete of the Week. Uh, her three, three of her 16 points made it eight to nothing, and it looked good for Don Plitzewhite's team. But then they fell behind, and then Monica Arn says, no problem, I got this. Three from the outside, and then she's going to make another three. She had 12 points in the game, and the Coyotes would go on to win this one. 73 to 58, they're 24 and three, 12 and one in the uh, conference they play at. South Dakota State on Sunday afternoon. The Summit League swimming and diving goes all the way through Saturday. Well, tonight there were several finals at the Midco Aquatic Center. Let's pick up the action in the one meter dive. This is South Dakota State's Joey Weber. Looked to be in great shape to win the championship at 307.85 after his six dives, but this guy still had one dive left. Isaac Morris, the defending champ who's been hurt much of the year, needed a 56. He got a 57.2, and he wins it on his very last dive. That was incredible. The rest of the night belonged to the pioneers of Denver. They're not just good, they're ridiculous. Both the men and women have now won five straight league titles. They're gonna make it six, trust me. Uh, they won every swim, swimming event tonight, every single one of them. Let's go to your scoreboard. After day two, Denver leads on the women's side almost doubling up on South Dakota and then on the men's side USD in second place their state is in third place again Morris uh, your one meter diving champ Weber got second place well after a dominating win over top rank Lincoln Tuesday the Agorman Knights were at Washington tonight trying to secure the number one ranking nice steal by Kemmer Schram who takes it all the way and the Warriors were leading this game by three but back comes O'Gorman slowly take control Akoya Koi in the lane leans in Knights within one they take the lead moments later for Derek Roby when Jack Cartwright is going to swish the 15 footer uh, those Cartwrights can shoot can't they and then O'Gorman turns up the defense Cartwright with a steal he's going to throw ahead to Zach Norton who's going to drive in and OG wins at 50 to 32. The third and fourth ranked girls teams in double A met at the Lincoln Gym tonight as the Patriots hosting the Tigers of Harrisburg. Great pass underneath from Ugoski to Emily Boyer. And then watch Breckley Honor. Uh, nice drive off the glass and it's 26 to 11. Harrisburg, Honor had 16 points in the game tonight. Brooke Brown from downtown. Downtown Brooke Brown for the three. Remember Freddie Brown? Downtown Brooke Brown tonight. Morgan Hansen had 23 for the uh, Patriots, beat the first half buzzer there. She's a really good player, but Janai Ugoski, when you bank a three in, you know it's your night. You just know it's your night. She had 21 points. She can score from in close, too. Hey, I'll take it. Harrisburg wins it. 61 to 51. Again, Washington knocked off O'Gorman tonight. Vermillion over Canton. Del Rapids beats Garrison. Redfield, Dolan, and Groton both win tonight, along with Parker and Miller. MVP and Pierre win, as did West Central. They're still undefeated. Now, for regions, these are all semifinals. Warner and Waverly South Shore win in 1B. 
in 2B. Ipswich and Falkton both win. DeSmet and Castlewood victorious in 3B. Ethan and Sanborn Central Woonsocket in 4. Freeman and Bridgewater Emery win in 5. Corsica Stickney and Avon in 6. In 7, New Underwood and White River. And in 8, Faith and Dupree. A couple of boys scores. O'Gorman and Potter County both win along with Marty and ACDC. Uh, winner and Platt get us were victorious as well, and it's our last page. It is. All right, the, we got a couple of more. The Sky Force lose 130 to 108 in Long Island. Raphael Putney had 26 points, and the Wild win 4 to 1. Devin Dubnik had 33 saves. They've been on a tailspin, but a good win for them tonight. They traded Charlie Coyle, by the way, to my Bruins. We'll be right back.